chronic diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure have replaced infectious diseases as a leading cause of death. Did you know that these diseases account for a huge share of healthcare costs? Did you know that if these chronic conditions were better managed, the risk of complication and death could be cut up to 25 percent? Hi, I'm John Kamensky, Senior Fellow with the IBM Center for the Business of Government. Here are two reports that are addressing this quiet yet growing crisis. The first is the role and use of wireless technology in the management and monitoring of chronic diseases. It's by Professor uh, Eli Giesler and Nelmini Wickramasinghe, who are both with the Illinois Institute of Technology. The second is creating telemedicine-based medical networks for rural and frontier areas by Leonard Grazaplane. Wireless technology, also called telemedicine, allows long-distance diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up for at-risk populations such as rural, poor, and elderly patients. Doctors and patients don't have to travel for checkups. They can be done remotely by phone or by internet. The first report describes a range of potential uses of specific wireless technologies that are now being piloted and that could be expanded to broader populations. The authors also describe key barriers to increasing the use of wireless technology in managing and monitoring chronic diseases. The report concludes with a series of recommendations on how to expand the use of telemedicine in ways that will both reduce health care costs and increase the quality of life for those with chronic diseases. The second report looks at the potential for using wireless technologies in rural areas where there is a shortage of doctors. Approximately 60 million Americans live in rural or frontier areas and often have trouble getting treatment, especially for chronic diseases. The Recovery Act provides funding to support a telemedicine infrastructure for rural areas. It also funds wellness initiatives, which are important ways to reduce the demand for emergency medical treatment. Dr. Grazaplane's report offers a three-part approach that can leverage these Recovery Act initiatives to respond to the health care crisis in rural and frontier areas. First, expand the use of telemedicine by shifting much of the health care in rural areas to telemedicine networks. Second, expand the use of the medical home concept to better manage care for chronic disease patients. The medical home concept focuses on the total care of a patient led by a primary care physician and a team of others. And third, invest in KA band satellites to ensure affordable and dependable network connections for both telemedicine devices and the medical home. We hope that these two reports help enrich and inform the national debate that government leaders are now engaged in to improve health care in America. For free copies of these reports, you can download them at businessofgovernment.org.